Hi, my name is Stevie and I like to record songs. Today I'm going to record a heavy metal song. I've already done a prog rock song and a prog metal song. If you want to see them, the links will be in the description. Let's go. Before I start, I would like to thank everybody for all the nice comments and encouragement. It really, really means a lot to me and it has really spurred me on to keep doing this. I'd like to highlight one comment in particular from Abshred. He asked, do I only do songs in 4-4? Well, let's use that as a kicking off point today and let's not do 4-4. Let's try and write something in an odd time signature. So I've written a drum beat here. Let's have a listen to it. It's got a kind of a 7-8 vibe to it. Let's put some guitars and bass and see if we can get a riff. Let's see what we've got here. Yeah, it's got a kind of seven, eight vibe. I'm counting it like this. One and two and three, uh, uh, one and two and three, uh, uh. Okay. So I have called the video how to create a heavy metal song from scratch and I suppose it would make sense for me to define at this stage what I mean by heavy metal. I don't really go for this micromanagement that we have in heavy metal of giving every single BPM and every single different tuning a different genre name. I consider it all to be heavy metal. I suppose I see bigger things like thrash and prog metal and stuff like that, but mostly I just call it heavy metal. But more than anything, I think of new wave of British heavy metal, bands like Judas Priest, Iron Maiden. I suppose that's what I'm going for with this song. When I think of that type of music, I think there's quite a lot of roughs in that music. So I think maybe the next step is to write some more roughs, not necessarily related to the rough that I've already written. If we just keep writing roughs and try and segment them together somehow, maybe we'll get on a roll and maybe a song will start to form and take shape. Let's try and do another 7-8 drum pattern. See what we have here. Okay, pull the hi-hat down a wee tiny bit. I don't know why, but maybe it's because I mentioned New Wave of British Heavy Metal. I can't get Def Leppard out of my mind for some reason. And something I always associate with Def Leppard is this type of palm muting pattern here. I feel like I might try and add that onto the rough I just recorded. Right, let's hear this new riff. The Billy guitar's a wee bit loud. I 
I think I might try and add something else doing that Def Leppard bit. Uh, maybe a piano. Strings. A piano. We'll try a piano and see. It needs something percussive, I think. Okay, so it adds a tiny detail to it that I kind of like. There's a there's a bit of something that you can't quite hear that I think is interesting. So that's Riff 2 complete. None of these riffs feel like anything that I want to sing over, so I'm going to have to write at least one more riff and see if that can provide a vocal melody for me to kickstart this project. That's a pretty nice rough, let's hear it. Can I think maybe we should play something over the top yet? Let's see that. Okay, let's hear it. The lead guitar part's a bit lost, so I think I'll use the piano as well. And and double up that lead guitar part just to try and pull it out a wee tiny bit more. Right, finally, after a few false starts, we've got a rough that we can sing over. Um, here's the lyrics that I'm thinking of using for it. Facing down the fallout, meticulous detail, sparks of indecision, grinding on the rails, kicking through the embers of an anger now repressed, shut out in the cold, like an uninvited guest. I kind of knew from the start that I wanted to try and write this song based on anger. I'll get into the main idea of what the lyrics are about later on when I do the other verses. Facing down Right, now we're starting to get somewhere. Let's hear. Okay, so I think what it needs straight after that is that's quite an 
unmelodic type of thing that we're in here. And I think maybe after the Dylan, 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 bang, and the something more melodic, something chordal. I think we could go into a fairly straightforward beat at this stage. Okay, let's put some guitars and bass down. So what I've come up with here is a very simple chord sequence for a potential chorus. So we go A flat into F into C. But the little repeating pattern on the guitar. Actually makes the voicing of the chords a wee bit more interesting. So on the first chord, we've got A flat major seven. Then we've got an F9, and then we've got C5. Let's check it out. Should be fairly easy to come up with some kind of vocal melody for that. I also think maybe it needs a keyboard pad sound to just fill out the harmony a bit. Colossus here is a rampler that I have on contact. I've had it forever and I just can't replace it because I just like its vibe. I've got the upgrade Goliath as well but I've never actually managed to successfully transition across. It's just basically if what you have you like and it works then why not? I'm using a preset here called Men From Manila Pad. So I was thinking of doing something like this. Okay, I'll try and write some lyrics for this section now. So I think this song is starting to become in my mind about anger and resentment um, and the loss of a friendship. Maybe things have been said that can't be unsaid and now the friendship's over. Now it's over and done. Cathedrals, Requiem, Cremation. We're sort of thinking about the funeral of a friendship.
like prayers to a sunless sky, like candles. I used the word candles because I was trying to think of something that would be whenever you light up a situation, whenever you cast a light on a situation, you can see what's really there. Candles sounded like the most poetic way to do it. Like candles reveal the desolation. So it's dark. It's about the loss of friendship. Let's see how that sounds being sung over the chords that we just recorded. I should probably mention again that every time I record vocals, I always record them in three passes. So I've got the lead vocal, pan center, and then two other versions of an identical vocal, and they're panned hard left and right, and typically about 6 dB quieter, just so that you understand what's going on here. Let's hear what we have. In my mind, it kind of sounds a wee bit more like a bridge than a chorus. I was hoping it would be the chorus, but it's not. Maybe we need something that leads on from there. Maybe we could just carry on with the same chords, simplify the vocal melody, and take the drums down half time. And that might give us some something a wee bit more hooky for the chorus. So I've made a half time drum beat. Let's see if we can loop this stuff over the top of it and see if it still works. Maybe we'll take this bit out here as well. We we'll just have it plain. If you're watching this in the future, then this is 2022. I've just finished watching the new Spider-Man movie and it just came out to my head that maybe we should just try using the title of the Spider-Man movie. It could work as a placeholder anyway and maybe I'll come up with something better or maybe I'll like it. We'll see. Right, let's see what we have here now. Okay, that sounds a bit more like a chorus. I think maybe the lead guitar should carry on and still do something. I'm not quite sure what yet, but we'll get to it. Um, what next? We could do. We could try and do some arrangement of the song now because um, I think maybe this rough here, the second rough that we wrote today. I wonder what that would sound like if I just moved it up to here and take it from the end of the chorus. Let's see what that sounds like. No. Okay, that lead guitar is too loud. I'm going to duplicate the track so that I can have a quieter guitar at that section. Okay, I think I like that. Let's hear it one more time. Oh, 
Okay, cool. And what about our first rough from the very start? Hmm. If it had like maybe a bar rest. Too much. What about there? Facing down the fire, Interesting. Let's try and have a listen to everything that we recorded today so far and see if it works. We've got a, we've got definitely some kind of intro, some kind of bridge, a chorus, and a verse. It's the makings of a song. Let's see. Okay, a couple of things came to mind just as I listened to that. One is I think we should try and um, have some kind of delay on the chorus vocals. I've already got a channel set up on my vocals for delay throws. So just a basic half long delay. Um, I'll automate in some delay throws and see what happens. That's pretty cool. Let's pull that volume away down, but... Alright, that was one thing. What was the other thing? Um, yeah, this bit. Let's try that. Let's have a listen to what that sounds like. Okay, so I'll spend more time trying to get the scream to sound exactly right and maybe add distortion and so on and do all the things that you would do in screaming vocals to try and get that to sound right. But in the meantime, like a lot of things, I've been listening to the guitar all day and some of the guitars are at a time and so on. But it's very important to stay in the moment and just keep driving forward with the ideas for the song. If you start getting preoccupied with details, then you start losing momentum. It takes you out of the creative space that you're in. You have to stay in the zone and keep moving forward, creating the song. All the time in the world afterwards to fix the details and to fix the performances and so on. We just need to get to some kind of conclusion with the song so that we know that it's worth all this effort. Let's hear what we have so far. the breath of 
the start of that. I think I'll try and make a feature of that. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, so that'll probably do for today. I'll go in and get my tea now. Starve my hunger. <laughs> but hopefully that piqued your interest enough to come back and watch the next episode and see how we get on with the other verses and guitar solo and breakdown and so on. All the other parts that go into making the song complete. I hope you found that interesting. I hope you found it useful and maybe learned something from it. Do all the things that YouTubers ask you to do. Support the channel. And I'll see you next week for episode two. You rock.